Hey everyone, I'm Jesse, and uh, I wanted to make this uh, video about uh, library-bound books, library-binding books available from Amazon. Because um, I had questions, and I've seen other questions, like on that website and other websites. Uh, yeah, I know what library binding is. I looked it up, but you know, what does the book actually look like? Because Amazon just shows you a picture of the cover, right? They don't uh, show you like detailed photos of what the book actually looks like. What's the difference and everything? Um, so. This is what it looks like, or at least this is what the version of it looks like. Um, I'll go through what library binding actually is at the end of the video, because I'm assuming at least a good chunk of people watching this video already know or kind of know what that is, and just want to know, what does the book look like? Um, is it worth it? Is it the paperback edition? Yes, it is. This is just the regular, you can see from the size of it. This is the paperback edition that's been rebound in uh, a nice hardback. Uh, no jacket, which is something I appreciate. Uh, I like hardcovers, but I'm not a big fan of jackets. I always take them off when I read the book so that I don't damage the jacket. Um, but this is very durable, uh, nice and shiny, but not, not, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't attach, attract uh, fingerprints, though, at all, um, even though it, it does have a, a nice shine to it. And there is uh, the binding. And... Here is something that I really like. You can just open this up and it lies flat on the table. Um, pages turn nice and easy. Again, if you just want to lie it on the table, oh, lie it on a, on a table or something, you can hold it in the palm of your hand like this uh, and read through it. Um, another thing is the, uh, the text doesn't go right into the spine. Um, so it's it's easier to read than at least some paperbacks that I've uh, had in the past, um, where you really had to, if you didn't want to bend the book all the way back and damage the spine, you kind of had to go like this and like this to look at it, which was annoying, which is why I often don't buy paperbacks anymore. Um, I prefer hardcovers or uh, trade paperbacks. Um, but... If you did need to bend back a book like this, no problem. You can bend it back all the way like this, and there'll be no damage whatsoever. It'll be totally fine. Um, so that's something I really, really like. Um, yeah, like that's great. For like a, a book of this size, um, to be able to just lie it flat like this and the pages stay open uh, no matter where you go, that's great. Um, so... Is it worth it? Um, I say definitely. As long as um, this is significantly cheaper than getting um, a hardcover, um, I would say definitely go for it. Um, unless you want the paper, uh, sorry, the uh, the trade paperback. A trade paperback is going to be different. That's what the current editions of it are. Uh, the the nice big trade paperbacks, um, and those open very those open very nicely and very easy to read. So next time you're shopping for a book. Uh, on Amazon and you have and there's an option for library binding and uh, the price looks okay to you uh, give it a shot um, see what you think um, I I really like this uh, I would definitely buy another one um, I do prefer a slightly larger book like a like a, like a hardcover like a regular sized hardcover for example um, but if I'm gonna get a small like paper book paperback sized uh, book like this uh, I I really like this library binding with the hardcover. It's uh, it's very nice, very easy to read. Okay, so that's about it for that. And uh, now I'll just quickly explain uh, library binding if you don't know what that is, and specifically uh, the Turtleback's uh, version of uh, library binding. So what uh, Turtleback does, I went to their website, and um, so they take the paperback edition, uh, remove all of the pages. I think they just melt the glue remove everything, rebind it uh, with their own double fan adhesive binding, um, which is a much just a, a much better form of uh, glue binding, more durable. Uh, the cover is scanned from one of the multiple editions of whatever book it is, in this case it, uh, scanned and then uh, put on their own high quality paper and then place it onto the hardback uh, cover. They have some term for their way they do their spines, I don't remember what it is, but Whatever it is, it seems pretty darn good to me. Um, and then their own uh, acid-free acid-free paper. I think that's this. I think they call this the end sheet. Um, acid-free paper that they put in there and then stick to the uh, to the cover there. Um, and yeah, so this is done 
for library use, uh, but obviously you can also buy them uh, brand new. This isn't used. <laughs> and then other forms of uh, library binding, like the, the first type that I read about um, was, um, I guess, originally done for hardcovers or, or larger paperbacks. Um, uh, the pages were removed and then over sewn and stitched together before putting being put into a into a hardcover. Um, but anyways, the, the the intent is um, just to make the book a lot more durable um, for the kind of abuse that uh, a library book would uh, go through. So that's basically it. Uh, if this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Um, thank you very much for watching and see ya.